The Dodge Safety Mount Spherical Roller Bearing is designed with a patented built-in mounting system which makes it simple to mount and dismount. Safety Mount uses only common tools, which reduces installation time by at least 75% compared to traditional SAF products. It's safer, faster, and easier. Proper installation of the Dodge Safety Mount Spherical Roller Bearing will be demonstrated. There are a few simple but key steps to properly install the Safety Mount Spherical Roller Bearing. Inspect the shaft to ensure it is smooth, straight, clean, and within commercial tolerances. If needed, clean the shaft prior to installation. Remove all weight from the bearing. You will need these common tools shown for proper installation. 3 8 inch barring rod, marker or grease pencil, hex drive and socket, ratchet, dead blow mallet, torque wrench. Slide the bearing onto the shaft. If the bearing does not slide onto the shaft, rotate the nut counterclockwise to expand the adapter. Repeat if necessary. Identify the socket set screws. The socket set screws located in the external lock nut are used only to dismount the bearing. Ensure that they are flush with the outer face of the external nut prior to mounting. They should be positioned this way when shipped from the factory, but their position should be verified. If they protrude into the gap between the lock nuts during installation, the bearing cannot be mounted correctly by restricting the gap closure of the lock nuts. Install the non-expansion bearing first. Position the bearing on the shaft to the desired location. The mounting bolts should be in place, but not tightened. Slide the bearing against the mounting bolts to the inboard side of the bearing. This prevents the mounting bolts from restricting the axial movement of the bearing during installation and prevents pre-loading of the bearing. The zero reference point is defined as the point when the clearance between the adapter sleeve, shaft, and bearing bore have been removed. As soon as the zero reference point is reached, the adapter is collapsed around the shaft and you will not be able to move the bearing axially along the shaft. This is accomplished by hand tightening the lock nut assembly until the adapter sleeve firmly grips the shaft. It is important to note that it does not take significant effort to achieve zero reference and will likely require much less force or effort than installing other roller bearings. Insert a barring rod into the hole located on the side of the lock nut and just pull down slightly by hand, only until it stops with moderate pressure. There is no need to use a hammer or excessive force. Verify that the zero reference point has been properly achieved by trying to slide the bearing axially on the shaft. If the bearing slides, tap on the OD of the lock nut with a rubber mallet and continue to hand tighten the lock nut until the bearing is no longer able to slide axially along the shaft. Once the zero reference point is achieved, it is important that you do not tighten further. Next, mark the face of the nut, adapter, and shaft. This will ensure there is no relative movement between components. This mark will be important in future installation or resetting steps. Now, loosen, but do not remove, the hex cap screws found on the lock nut assembly. Hold the external lock nut stationary while rotating the internal lock nut counterclockwise until the hex cap screws are moved to the opposite end of the slots. After rotating, ensure the mark drawn on the lock nut, adapter, and shaft are still aligned. If the external lock nut moved during this step, it is imperative to reposition the lock nut assembly so that the external lock nut is aligned with the mark made in the prior step before proceeding any further. This ensures the predetermined amount of drive up will be properly achieved. Using a standard six point hex socket and ratchet, evenly tighten the hex cap screws in a star pattern 
until the external lock nut firmly seats against the internal lock nut and the gap is completely closed. The gap closure between the lock nuts precisely sets the correct amount of radial internal clearance reduction while achieving full shaft contact, which eliminates fretting corrosion. Tighten the hex head bolts to 50% of the torque value shown in the manual, then tighten again to 100% full torque value. Ensure the star pattern is used both times. You might hear a slight pop or other sound as the bearing moves up the adapter. This is okay. Now, remove one hex cap screw next to the adapter slot. Install the new lock plate found in the hardware kit with the lock plate tab inserted into the slot on the adapter. You will notice that the lock plate is different than the one found on Imperial bearings. With this adapter, there is no need to tweak the lock nut with subtle tapping to get it perfectly aligned. This lock plate is reversible and is designed to be installed at any location on the bearing. Next, replace the hex cap screw to secure the lock plate in place. The bearing is now fully mounted. Proper dismounting of the Dodge Safety Mount spherical roller bearing will be demonstrated. The safety mount bearing is easily dismounted with only common tools by using the socket set screws found in the external lock nuts jack screw holes. Prior to dismounting, ensure the weight from the bearing is removed. Mark across the top of the internal and external lock nut for proper resetting. First, remove all the hex cap screws and lock plate. This will allow room for the external lock nut to back out. If tension is present during this process, loosen further to ensure all bolts are loose or removed altogether. Now, tighten the socket set screws in a star pattern gradually in multiple complete patterns. The set screws will drive against the internal lock nut, which will push the bearing off the adapter sleeve with no damage to the shaft. You might hear a pop, which is normal. Keep turning until the bearing is loose on the shaft. The bearing is now dismounted and can be easily removed from the shaft. Proper resetting of the Dodge Safety Mount spherical roller bearing will be demonstrated. To reset the lock nut assembly after dismounting the bearing, follow these steps. Back out socket set screws until they are flush with the outer face of the external lock nut. If they protrude into the gap between lock nuts during installation, the bearing cannot be mounted correctly by restricting the gap closure of the lock nut. Second, ensure the hex head mounting bolts are loose and rotate the lock nut counterclockwise until it is shouldered against the mounting bolts. Push the external lock nut towards the internal lock nut to properly sit on the tabs. It is important the bolts maintain relative position of matched lock nuts. If the bolts are removed, ensure the marks are aligned to maintain concentricity. Now, thread the hex head bolts into the internal lock nut through each one of the slots on the external lock nut. Ensure the outer lock nut remains shouldered to the inner lock nut while tightening the bolts. Finally, torque the hex head bolts to 20 to 30 foot-pounds using a star pattern to ensure the external and internal lock nut move as a set. The bearing is now properly reset and ready for reinstallation. Dodge Safety Mount. Safer. Faster. Easier.